This clematis is really vibrant and bright in its petals, but the stamens are really delicate and pale in comparison. And the visual contrast there in the centre of the, of the flower is really strong, so we've got to try and recreate that if we're to make the piece look realistic. You can learn how to paint the whole clematis, um, including all the hues I use and the whole techniques, in a step-by-step -step tutorial that's available in the subscription service section of the website. Um, but in this tip video, we're going to focus on those stamens and I'm going to show you how to tackle them. As always, it starts with a detailed drawing. And then in this case, I'm working on the slightly darker parts of the stamens with some watery Windsor lemon and my treble zero brush. And as I work on the center here, those outside yellow parts are just drying off nicely so that I can come into work with some watery Davis gray and it will not bleed into that yellow part and you can see I'm just allowing it to pull slightly more towards the center. So you might think it's now looking a little bit dark but once we've got the petals in place it looks like we've hardly got any color on those at all. That's because color is relational both in terms of hue and tone. So here I'm just darkening up I'm using the same mixes again the Davies Grey and I've made sure here that the pink of the petals is completely dry so it's not as likely to bleed into that if I accidentally touch it with this paint. And here I'm actually working on the darker areas and I'm using a combination of some Windsor Lemon with some olive green in there. And then just making a slightly darker mixture using some Davies Grey again with some olive green mixed in to just work on those tips again. And just working with a further layer of it there to further darken up right towards the base which has the effect of throwing the yellow central part forward making it look three-dimensional again working on those centers darkening up a little bit more now using a combination of some sap green a bit of Payne's gray and I've just used a bit of the pink color from my palette to warm it up slightly although burnt sienna would do the job and with that very dark mixture, I'm just picking out with my uh, treble zero brush some of the very darker details in the center there. And now this is the final touch, and this is what so many people fail to do, and it makes such a difference. Um, it's just going back to my um, petal color here, my nice rich color, and I'm using the treble zero brush to just go around and darken up where I need to really following careful observations of the photograph I'm working from. So there you have the final stamens and they really draw the eye and look as they're supposed to. And don't forget, if you subscribe to the school, you can get a full step-by-step -step tutorial of this flower that's available there. If you've enjoyed this tip video, please visit watercolourswithwow.com for information on the materials I recommend, more tip videos, my advice blog and lots more. Thanks for watching.